Well, hello. So I am making some nutritious bites for snack, and I thought I would take you along. Um, I already have all the measurements prepped, and I'll include a link to the recipe below. But essentially, what is going to be in here is peanut butter, and I'm using this natural creamy <clears throat> from Skippy, but you can use other nut butters, you can use cookie butter for those of you who are allergic to peanuts, and you can certainly adjust this as your personal preference or your family's preferences. Then the bulk of it is two cups of oats, and it's not the instant, it's just the regular oats. So that's two cups. Then I have about half a cup of sunflower seeds. Um, quarter cup of chia and quarter cup of what am I having right now? flaxseed whole and then I have a quarter cup of craisins, a quarter cup of goji berries and a quarter cup of unsweetened shredded coconut and we're gonna combine everything then place it in a bowl for half an hour so it solidifies or settles and pop that in the fridge and then we'll start get rolling so I'm gonna do everything in my food processor but if you don't have one you could certainly do this by hand in a bowl but it's just easier in a food processor so let me show you what that looks like one night once I put it all in so there are all the ingredients in the bowl of the food processor I'm just gonna pulse it for about 15-20 times pop it, lit, lit it, lit it process it and I'll show you what it looks like once it's all chopped up into cohesive pieces. Halfway stop and scrape because you want to make sure that everything is getting incorporated and not just stuck to the walls of your food processor. And then repulse. And that is exactly what I want it to look like so I'm going to transfer it out of the bowl of the food processor into this bowl that I'm going to refrigerate and we'll start rolling in 30 minutes. So by, while the mixture is setting up, and it's pretty set up, I could probably use it now because I added uh, some additional things to the recipe. So it's nice and put, to, you know, it stays together nicely, but I'm gonna let it chill just in case. I have a Silpat lined quarter sheet pan ready and the, compart and the container where I'm going to store them. And I have lined that with parchment paper and I'm going to put in parchment paper in between the layers and I have my little one inch or an ounce scoop all ready to go. Oh dear, I forgot the honey. So I'm going to, I took a giant serving fork and I'm going to drizzle the honey and mix it all in. Uh, good thing I checked the recipe again, which is linked below. Honey all mixed in, and this just smells so delicious. I, I wish you had smell vision So I'm gonna roll up my sleeves and get rolling, and I'll show you what they look like rolled up. Just gonna scoop, roll, place. I might uh, cool these before placing them in that airtight container, especially since I just added the honey. You won't make that mistake because you'll know to add it before. <laughs> Don't they look cute? So I have more to roll, obviously, but I'm going to pop this back in the fridge to cool it because when you're rolling it in your hands, it does warm up. So I'm going to place these into the storage container as long as it's hermetically sealed. You should be fine. Don't feel like rolling balls. Press it into a cookie sheet and cut into bars. They'll have to be like squares, you know, smaller squares because you make sure that you're getting the right proportions. You know, easier to grab a ball, but there you go. So that is Easy Peasy Energy Bites. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Otherwise, don't forget to stop by and check out the recipe. Thanks for watching, everyone.